Hello everyone, welcome back to Powerfully Ordinary. In today's video, we will be looking at square roots and cube roots. In the previous video on exponents, we called the base number or the number that was being multiplied by itself the root. The root is the number we always come back to. In this instance, 3 to the power 2 the 3 is your root number or your base number, while the 2 is your exponent or the number that tells us how many times the 3 must be multiplied by itself. In this case, because a, the exponent is 2, 3 is being multiplied by itself 2 times, which is 3 times 3. And our answer there is 9. In this instance, we have 4 to the power 3. 4 being our base number or our root number, and a 3 our exponents, which tells us that 4 needs to be multiplied by itself 3 times. And we will write it as 4 times 4 times 4, and our answer there will be 64. What happens when we have the answer but we need to find its root? How do we go about finding out what number was multiplied by itself a number of times to get this answer. When we need to find the root of any number, we write our sum out like this. The sign that is written above the number 16 tells us that we are looking for the root number of the number that we find beneath the sign, which in this case is your 16 and we will read it as the square root of 16. Because there is no number written on the outside of the sign, we take it for granted that it is the square root, which in other words means we are looking for a number that when multiplied by itself two times gives us the number 16. So what is the square root of 16? So let us look at this list. If we're looking for 16, we find that 4 squared is equal to 16, which means that 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 4 multiplied by itself gives us 16. So in other words, the square root of 16 is 4. In the case of a cube root, we write it like this. The root sign is as normal. The number 125 is found beneath the sign, which means we are finding the root for 125. And because we are finding the cube root, which means we are looking for a number that was multiplied by itself three times, we write the number three on the outside of the sign. So this is read as the cube root of 125, which means we are looking for a number that multiplied by itself three times gives us 125. So what is the cube root of 125? Let us look at this list. We are looking for a, the root, the cube root of 125. So we're looking for a number that multiplied by itself three times gives us 125. And according to this list, 5 to the power 3 or 5 cubed gives us 125, which means that a cube root of 125 is therefore 5. I hope that you found this video useful. Please do not forget to comment, share and subscribe. Please turn notifications on to be informed of new videos.